Hello everybody, it's a sub-zero day here at the sprawling campus of Brayburn Worldwide Headquarters. Time for another episode of Tech Support with Tony. And I'm Tony. So today's episode we are going to discuss programmable thermostats. We're going to go over how to set up a program schedule on your model 2030 and 2230 thermostats. These instructions apply to either of these two models. These thermostats are programmable as you see and you have options of 7 day, 5 2 day or even non-programmable modes. What does that mean? So a seven day schedule can give you all seven days with the same schedule or you have the ability to create seven individual day schedules where the schedule will be different on Monday, different on Tuesday, different on Wednesday, and so on. A 5-2 schedule is a fixed format for Monday through Friday, those five days, and then another schedule for Saturday and Sunday. The thermostat will come default as a seven day program schedule. You want to change that to 5.2, that is something that you have to go into the installer menu and make a change. So we'll get into that right off the bat. We're going to use this model 2030. Hopefully we don't get too much glare on the screen. To get into the installer menu on this thermostat, you're going to press this menu button and hold it down until you see the screen change. It takes about five or six seconds. The very first item is going to be your programming level. The default, like I said, is for seven day programming. If you use your arrow key, you can select 5-2 or even turn the programming feature off. We're going to set it to five or seven day schedule. Press the menu button to exit. Now, to create your program schedule, your schedule will have four time frames. Morning, day, evening, and night. And you need to program all four of these with a specific start time and a temperature setting. You can create a schedule for heat and a schedule for cool. We're going to do a heating schedule so you want to ensure that your system switch is in the heat position and it will also be indicated in the display that you're in the heat mode. If you want to create seven individual days you're just going to press the program button once and release. This will start you into the programming sequence where it's going to start with the morning event and you'll see that the letter M for Monday is blinking indicating that you are working on Monday's schedule. The default time will be 6 a.m. When you press this button under next you will see that the hour character will start blinking and you can adjust your hour. We're going to set it to 5 a.m. Use your up and down arrow key to set your specific hour. Then press the next button and the minutes will start blinking and you can adjust the minutes. They go in 10 minute increments. So we're going to set it to 520 a.m. Pressing the next button will move your blinking character over to the temperature where you can adjust the temperature. Let's set it to 73. Now press next 
and you'll see that the hour character is blinking again, but now this is for day. This is your day event. Let's change this to 9 a.m. Pressing next, the minutes will start blinking and we can adjust that. Let's set this to 930. Then next again and the temperature will start blinking. This is the temperature we want it to start working at at 930. So let's set that to 67. Pressing next again, we'll go back over here to the hour character, but now it indicates eve for evening. 6 p.m. Let's adjust that to 5 p.m. Press next. We can adjust the minutes. Let's set it to 5.10 p.m. Press next again. The temperature will start blinking. And we're going to adjust this up to 76. Pressing next again takes us to the night event. And we're going to again set our hour. Let's set it to 9 p.m. Press next. You can adjust the minutes as needed. We're going to leave it at 9. Next again. And we're going to adjust the temperature down to 60. Then when you press next again, it's going to start back with the morning, but this will be Tuesday. And you're going to repeat that same sequence to get you through Tuesday. Maybe on Tuesday you want to do a completely different schedule than you did for Monday. This will allow you to do that. And then you can do the same for the rest of the week. That would be seven individual days. When you're done, you can always press the menu button to exit and come back to your normal operating screen. So maybe you want to do all seven days of the week with the same schedule. So rather than go through and program seven days one at a time, you can do a speed set which will allow you to set all seven days with one schedule. To do this, we're going to press the program button. We're going to hold it down until you see the screen change and now you can see all seven days of the week are appearing above the clock and your hour character is blinking. You're going to follow that same sequence pressing the next button to advance through the menu to set all of your times morning day evening and night but you only have to do it once and it will apply to all seven days of the week if you had selected 5-2 as your programming format you would press the program button and it will give you Monday through Friday first and you'll program just the same after you've programmed Monday through Friday then you'll get your option for Saturday and Sunday. And that would take care of the entire week in a 5-2 format. So you've got some different versatility in how you can set up your program schedule. Seven individual days with each day having its own particular schedule. The week as a whole, all seven days the same or you can do a weekday weekend format. I will put links to the installer and user manuals in the description as well as the tech support phone number. You can always call for live support. Any questions on this or any of our other products, we'll take those calls Monday through Friday, 8 until 5 in the central time zone. Thanks for watching.